Welcome to this episode of the Smart Leader Cell Podcast. I'm Jessica Lorimer, sales coach and leadership expert, and I am really excited to dig down into today's episode. Happy Wednesday, potties. Exciting 10 minute tip today. Um, and I've had a really interesting couple of days. So I've actually been out with a couple of biz friends of mine. We're making some changes over here at Smart Leader Cell HQ. I always feel very posh when I say that. Smart Leader Cell HQ. <laughs> so we're making some changes over here to the team and to the content that we're putting out and to my messaging and, you know, just generally going through one of those, not transitional phases, but I've been in this period for a few months, like I've been sharing with you guys, of just honing what I really want to put out there and, and how I really want to contribute uh, this year. And you might be thinking, but Jess, it's three months into the year and you should have this nailed. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's, it's really easy to sit there in November and December and, and plan things. And then when January actually hits, you kind of think, well... Is it actually what I wanted to create? And I'm somebody who likes to ease into things. You know, I'm not somebody who's like, okay, great, I'm just going to go and cut everything and do this whole new thing. I'm quite conservative, quite risk averse. So it's it's taken me a few months to settle into the year. And I've just spent a few days with a couple of biz besties of mine, um, both virtually and in person. And it's been great. Like, I'm like, okay, I've nailed this message. That I want to get out there. I've nailed the kind of content that I want to put out in 2019. And I'm actioning it. And it's, it's going really well. And you guys are going to see some cool stuff coming to the podcast. Um, and we've got the uh, amazing global research survey out there. If you haven't taken it yet, make sure you head over to bit.ly forward slash 1% research. And that's percent as in the word, not as in the little percent sign. How many times can I say percent? <laughs> but yeah, so we've got lots and lots going on. And Somebody asked me today, so I was, I was out with one of my former clients, actually. We went out for lunch today. We met up and we went out for lunch and we were talking in the uh, hotel that we were eating in and somebody overheard us from the next table and, and looked over and they said, hey, look, what you do sounds really interesting. And we were kind of like, yeah, we're really, really fortunate, you know, built businesses. It's been really fun. We're having a great time. We love what we do. and." He said to me, how is it that you have been so successful? Like, what is it that you credit the most to your success? Now, obviously, number one without fail goes to sales, right? If you, if you don't make sales, your business can't succeed. So that's a given in anybody's world, but more particularly in mine because I just love it and I'm obsessed by it. But it was the first time I'd been asked the question in a while. So I started thinking and I was thinking along this vein of the new stuff that we're putting out and the new things that I'm bringing to 2019. And I said, actually, the thing that I feel has contributed the most success to my business is finishing. And he sort of looked at me like, what? Um, and I said, it's really in easy as an entrepreneur to be a starter it's so easy to start project after project after project. It's really easy to jump on the hot new piece of software or the next big lead generation system. And I was like, what I've always been really good at is making a plan. And even though I might be slow, right? Even though we might be in March and I'm still moving through my plan, actually finishing what I start. So if I say I'm going to run a course, I run a course and I see it through. And if I say I'm going to do something, I actually finish the project. Sometimes I might change things. Okay. So it doesn't mean that I put a plan in concrete and I'm like, right, I'm never going to veer from that at all. You can be flexible. You know, there are some times where I've gone, hmm, actually, this isn't the right time for me to launch something specific. So I'm going to move it over to Q2 or Q3 instead. So you can always be flexible. But 
a big thing that I see in the online world that's really stopping people progressing is this inability to finish. They start lots of projects, they jump on lots of different things, they're looking for the hot new thing, the miracle cure, the magic pill, and they never actually finish what they start. You know, I see it most with programs, right? I see so many entrepreneurs, they launch new programs, they're like, I'm gonna launch a new group program. And they launch it once. And they sell like 10, 20 spots, and then they go, right, now I've gotta launch the next thing. And I'm like, why? You didn't finish the first thing yet. You know, one of the reasons that I was able to build out so many funnels in such a short space of time was not because I kept running tons of different things. And we've talked about this on the podcast before, right? I, I've told you about the, the crazy year that I spent running 63 different um, programs and courses. But from those 63, the next year, I only did seven things. Seven in a whole year. And those seven things have stayed in my business for the last three years. So they haven't changed for three years. We've improved upon them. We've made them more efficient. We've worked to make them more effective. We've, um, you know, amped up the courses with new content. We've updated things. We've uh, adjusted the learning styles so that literally anyone can come in and, and take it and make it work. But I haven't stopped selling them. I haven't just gone, okay, yeah, cool, that one's done. So bye. And even with the one-off pieces that I've created so you know things like my first ever event I got it recorded and I sold the recordings you know when I've done one-off workshops I've recorded and sold it on as an automated product when I've created courses I've launched them and relaunched them and run different rounds and gone through that whole testing period and automated them and so when we talk about success, it's not about how many projects can you start? Are you really good at ideas? All this kind of stuff, because entrepreneurs are, right? Well, we're really good at ideas. We're really good at thinking, oh my goodness, we could do this and we could do that. And, and it's great. We can live in those ideas for weeks and weeks and months and years. But you also have to take the action to make the ideas happen. Because ideas without action are nothing. And starting without finishing means that you don't get the business that you want. So given that it's Wednesday and we're halfway through the week, I want you to just take, take a minute, two minutes, and think about what have you started this week, this month, in 2019, that you might not actually be finishing that you might have just moved on from, dismissed as failing, dismissed as not being good enough, dismissed as not being right first time, and actually think about how you could, instead of looking at those things as being failures or not being worth bothering anymore, start thinking, well, how could I actually leverage that? How could I make it more effective? How could I make it more efficient? How could I make it work? How could I make it sell more? Because the chances are, if you've had people interested in it once, as a product or as a service, if you had people buy it once, just because it wasn't the necessarily the number you imagined doesn't mean that it didn't work. In fact, it did work because they were interested because they bought it. It means you have something to improve upon. And that's really where the hard work of being an entrepreneur comes. Not in the starting, not in the ideas, not in the big vision, but in actually finishing those and making them the most impactful and effective that they can possibly be. Have an awesome Wednesday. I will catch you in Friday's episode. We're bringing a really cool guest to the table and they're sharing an awesome journey and some literally incredible advice. So make sure you join us on Friday. I will see you then. Have an epic Wednesday. And remember, finish what you start. <laughs>